Subscribe now and I'll love you forever. Hello, how's it going? Bald person, here. Okay, so school is coming back up in like a couple weeks, honestly. Like, you hate to see it. Unless you like school, then you love to see it. I don't like school, and I... <laughs> going to school, whether that's high school or college, having your own device, having your own computer, laptop, portable computer thingy is going to be much more helpful than having to go to the one in the library or we'll always have to borrow someone's. So in this video, I'm going to go over my top choices for back to school products and what my wife, it, who is going back to school next week actually, will be using when she goes back to school and why I think you should be using these items as well. So to get started, you probably already know what I'm going to say. This is about the iPad. iPad Pro in specific. So. You can get the MacBook or you can get the iPad Pro. Those are essentially your two choices. I would most definitely 100% say screw the MacBook, get the iPad Pro. Because for school, what are you doing that you need a MacBook over the iPad? For school, you'll be doing research, you know, for papers and stuff. You will be taking notes, you will either with a pencil, an Apple pencil, or typing with a magic keyboard. You will be, you know, typing up essays, reports, again, research, watching videos, even making some videos, and all of that you can do on the iPad. That you, And you can do it on the Mac, on the MacBook, just sometimes not as well. So I'm not in school currently, and I'm not planning to go back to school. I did not go to college, and I'm not planning to go to college. I have made my own way in life to where I don't have to go to college, thank the Lord. <laughs> but this, so I don't have the experience as a normal college student would, even though I am college age. But my wife, who is in college currently, is yo, is using an iPad Pro from 2018, the 11 inch. And as of recently, Apple put out the certified refurbished iPad Pro 2018 for like $519. Okay, that's the 64 gig model, $519. That's really, really good. So that's the 11 inch model. That is the smaller one, right? And that, and if you want the bigger one, for like less than $100 more, you can get the tw the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Same model, 2018, 64 gigs, but $600 something. It's a really good deal, really good price. And certified refurbished from Apple is essentially brand new. Like Apple takes a certified refer takes the product and then and by refurbishing it, they replace the battery, replace the screen, put new parts in it. It's all brand new, but it's discounted. So why wouldn't you go for the certified refurbished? Maybe you don't get the really nice, cool iPad box, but you're not using the box, you're using the iPad, and you're in college, so you don't have a lot of money. So yeah, iPad. And with the money you save, whether you get the 11 inch or 12.9 inch, I know I talk about this a lot, and I prefer to do this, you can go on eBay and get the Magic Keyboard. There are two options, white and black. The white one's gonna be more expensive because it is newer, but it does work on the, on the older models. And then you can also get the black version, 11 inch and 12.9 inch, it works either one, you, just, you know, get the size that you have. And with that, I you can buy a Magic Keyboard for the 11 inch for $150, whereas from Apple, it's 300. I bought this one for my wife, brand new, came with the box and everything. This was $150, 11 inch, on eBay. So then $300 from Apple. With the money you save from that, you can buy the Apple Pencil and a paper light screen protector, who is not a sponsor of this channel, but, but my wife does have a paper light screen protector on her iPad Pro with her Apple Pencil, and writing on it feels just like writing on paper. My wife does not like to type when she can take notes on actual paper. So having the 11 inch iPad Pro being her all encompassing everything for school, that means she doesn't have to buy any notebooks or anything. She can just store it all locally on this one slim, nice tablet. She can write on it, it feels just like paper. You can add lines in on the notes app through software. You have other notes apps too that are pretty good. And you can take notes on it whenever you need the keyboard and a typing experience. Dock it on the keyboard and work. If you don't like the small size, then you can get the 12.9 inch. I need. I have the 12.9 inch. I personally have the M1 model, but if you are not doing anything that difficult, if you are just doing web surfing, if you are doing research, typing, writing, all of this stuff, I would most definitely not get the 2021 model. Honestly, I wouldn't even get the 2020 model. I would always go for the 2018 model. And if you're worried about software updates and stuff, Apple is giving the iPhone 6 iOS 15, iPhone 6s iOS 15. iPhone 6s came out in 2015, okay? In 20, 
18 when this iPad Pro came out three years later. So if anything, it'll, it might have three years more life than the iPhone 6S has. But because an iPad and iPhone, and iPhone, it might be a little bit different. All I'm trying to say here is the iPad Pro 2018, 11 inch or 12.9 inch, is not going anywhere for a long time. Whether it's with software updates or anything, Apple is still gonna support it for a while. It is a fantastic product. And with the release of the two newer models, the 2020 and 2021 models, this one has just gotten cheaper. And I've personally used the 2018 one. My wife uses it all the time for Clash of Clans, for research, for job applying stuff, for school applying stuff. Everything she's done for work and school and fun has been on her 2018 11 inch iPad Pro. She has the Apple Pencil, Paper Light Screen Protector, and Magic Keyboard. Apple Pencil was from Apple directly because I couldn't find a great deal on one from eBay, but Magic Keyboard directly from eBay. Half the price of Apple's. It was awesome. And it still has the box, like seriously. And then the iPad itself. I got that pre-owned as well. I bought it $700 at the time. It came with the pencil. Now you can buy the iPad for like $500, 500 something dollars. It's a really good deal. And if you need higher storage models, if 64 gigs ain't enough, Apple has certified refurbished of 128 gigs or 256 gigs or 512 gigs, even up to one terabyte. They have that storage in there it, in certified refurbished. Obviously that'll cost more, but like, look at it this way. The 12.9 inch third gen iPad Pro, one terabyte used to be like 1500 something dollars, you know, 2018 model. Now it's like 1100 something. So it's gone down. A decent bit so you are spending more money than you were if you had the 64 gig which is what my wife has and which is what i i always use the lowest model as well just because it's the cheapest <laughs> and i I've, I've run into issues because i record a lot of video right and so but if you're not doing anything like that if you're not doing much creative work the lower models are good enough you don't need that much ram when it comes to this the only thing the only thing i would say is if you need if, you're gonna, if you see yourself doing a lot of PowerPoint presentation type stuff, stuff that you need multiple windows open. On the iPad, you can do great with two windows open plus a third one and slide over. You can, and it works great. But if you have a job that requires like 18,000 windows open for PowerPoint or something, it's not gonna work too well on the iPad. But here's the thing. Fernando Silva said this in his last video, and I think this is a great quote. You will find a way to use something if you want to use it, okay? Even if it is harder a little bit, if you really want to use it, then you are going to use it. I personally love using the iPad for everything. I'm not going to ever go back to a Mac. So, and even if, it, if, even if the iPad is limited in certain ways over the Mac, which if you want to know what I mean by that, I have other videos on that linked below. But even if the iPad is limited over the Mac, I will find a way, I will always find a way to do what I need to do on my iPad Pro because I love using the iPad Pro. I love the ability of taking it off the keyboard, using the pencil, docking the pencil, docking the iPad on the keyboard. It's beautiful. I love it. It's a lot of fun to use and my wife personally loves it as well. I think it's going to work great for her at school. It's already worked great for her for work stuff and I think that that is a great option for you. I would also suggest this over the iPad Air. The iPad Air is just came out. You can get the iPad Pro 2018 11 inch for about the same price as the iPad Air. Even though the iPad Air is a little bit newer, the screen is smaller, the processor might be faster, but not fast enough to justify it. The screen is a little bit smaller, not 120 hertz. If you don't care about that stuff, go for the iPad Air. But I would definitely go for the iPad Pro, but that's for another video. So if you enjoy this video, consider hitting the like button and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. Let me know what iPad you use for school and what your guys' thoughts on everything I just said in this video is, okay? Sounds great. Again, I always say this, two other channels, Guitar Lessons channel, have not done much on that, but more coming soon. And then a Guitar Covers channel as well. More on that also coming soon. There was supposed to be an original song come out last week. We had some technical issues, so that didn't come out last week. Hopefully by the end of this week. But September, we got two songs coming out, hopefully. One of them is going to be a good one. 
it's an original and yeah it's for suicide awareness month in september something that's always been very personal to me and so stay tuned for that i will be dropping that song beginning of september hopefully and i'm excited for you guys to hear it till then i'm jake this is shot on my phone <laughs>